I, I study the ecology of polar bears, primarily the foraging ecology of, uh, of polar bears across the Canadian Arctic, but um, here at the University of Alberta, I've uh, done some work on, on the conservation issues and uh, begin to look at, at some aspects of their, their distribution and movement patterns. We can, we can sort of use polar bears as a tool to gain some important insights into how that ecosystem operates, how it may be changing over time as a consequence of, of changing climate, um, changing um, pollution levels, um, increased human industrial activity. So uh, polar bears can be used as a really valuable ecological indicator of, of what the ecosystem is doing. The University of Alberta is positioned as one of the premier northern universities. And because of this, postdoctoral fellows like Dr. Tiemann are really exposed to a wide diversity of researchers working in many different disciplines. And this is really an important part of their development. And it really helps to build the academic community at the university. I chose to study at the University of Alberta primarily because of, of Andy DeRoche. We have known each other for, for a few years and we've been talking about uh, postdoc opportunities here. The postdoctoral position is, is a tremendously valuable one where I have an opportunity to pursue my own research interests but under the tutelage of, of a well-established, highly successful supervisor. Uh, he has strong northern experience already when he arrived here and over the past two years he's really been able to add to those skills. He's been able to insert himself into many different projects working closely with many of my graduate students, uh, offering comments on manuscripts, input on proposals for uh, funding. Uh, and this has really been an important component in terms of his development and it's also been an important component in increasing our productivity. Well, I think my work will have important implications for projecting where polar bear populations are going in the future, how these populations will respond to changes in their physical environment, changes in the sea ice habitat, or changes in, in prey population abundance or distribution of their primary prey, and how these populations respond to a changing Arctic climate or changing human impacts in the, in the north. Um, will obviously have important social, political, and, and cultural implications. <laughs>